Hello and welcome. We are going to do some modding. Uh, it's a Skyrim, one of the best games ever. And the goal is going to be to make the dragon scale armor darker because we all like sleuthy characters. Who doesn't like to be a rogue? And it's really good armor. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the boots darker. And if you just take the same process and apply it to the rest of the pieces of armor, then uh, you'll be good to go. And you'll have some awesome looking armor. So let's get started. Alright, so I'm not going to lie to you. This is going to be a little bit of work, but hopefully you're willing to do it because it's pretty fun. And it's kind of cool to make it your own when you play Skyrim. Okay, so you're going to need a few things, starting with GIMP. I'm going to walk through this like real slow with you guys. Download this. It's right there. Download it, install, and then uh, once you have that, you're going to need to get a DDS converter, which is a direct to direct draw surface, I'm sorry. And um, that basically just draws the uh, image onto the model, the 3D model. Um, get this from here. All the links will be down below, so don't worry about sitting here copying it from there. The download link is right there click this, click this, it's going to download. Um, to open it though, you're going to need WinRAR or WinZip or whatever you have. Um, download this, it looks sketchy, but it's not a promise. You're going to be fine. It's not going to give you a virus, don't worry. So once you have that, you can open up what you just downloaded and you need to place this within GIMP. So to do that, you're going to need to go to Computer, your hard drive, Program Files, GIMP, Lib, GIMP, 2.0, Plugins. And once you're here, all you have to do is drag it from here to here. I'll move and replace because it doesn't matter. Now your GIMP is 100% good to go when you are. So that's cool. Next, you are going to need a program to open up Bethesda's compression files, which hold the textures and models and everything for their games. Um, here, we'll browse to where that's located, the compression file. Um, go to Program Files, Steam, because when they decided to make their game, they were like, we don't want people to steal our game and be little dirtbags and torrent it because this is the best game ever. Alright, go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, uh, Skyrim. Now there's a possibility, instead of Common, or, yeah, instead of Common, Steam Apps, it could be in Regaz or whatever your username is, but normally, by default, it goes to Common, so all accounts can use it. Go to Skyrim, Data, and then Textures are right here. Now you need a file opener for this which I'm going to show you how to get in a second. Um, you need Fallout Mod Manager, which is what I use. There's a few BSA unpackers, but I definitely recommend using Fallout Mod Manager just because of the simplicity. Um, download this, install it. It's just an EXE like any other software that you want to install. Once you install it, you'll see the uh, radiation symbol next to the textures and Skyrim. Open this up, and you'll see all the textures from the game, and they're all right here. Pretty cool, I know. Um, we're going to want, I'm sorry, we don't need this right now. We're going to want the uh, scale armor boots, the dragon scale armor boots. So, dragon scale boots dot DDS, direct draw surface. Extract this. I'm going to extract it to the desktop. Okay, so now it's on your desktop. You could literally just drag and drop it into GIMP. And here's your toolbox over here. I'm sorry, it's on my other screen. And you can edit whatever you want in here, and it would show up in the game. Whatever you want. Uh, what up? Okay, but I don't like GIMP. I, I just don't at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically just use it as a DDS converter so I can open it in Photoshop 
If you don't want to use Photoshop and you're fine with what you want to do in GIMP, that's fine. By all means, just do whatever you want in GIMP and then follow later on in the video for how to get it back into the game. I'll put a little timestamp or something in here so you can just click it. Like a bam, right there. Um, so open up Photoshop and open up boots.psd, which I saved to the desktop as you can see. Uh, boots open. Now, I mean, I fooled around to get the boots how I wanted beforehand so I didn't have to waste all the time. And make sure you're on main surface layer. These are all your layers. This isn't going to be a Photoshop tutorial. I'm sorry, I can only do so much with 10 minutes. So image adjustment levels. And you can put whatever you want in here and it would change it. Three looks kind of cool too. Now it's only going to be the actual boots. Like the background color isn't going to be in the game. Um, 0.46 is what I've done for the rest of all my sets of armor for Dragon. And um, I think it looks pretty nice. So levels 0.46 okay and now my boots are the same color now I have to go and save them and put them back into the game so save the PSD file you can close out of Photoshop because you're done in there now what you want to do is open up that PSD file that you just saved right here and yep there it is you can close out of this because you don't need that and you're gonna want to save it again back to a DDS file so it's going from DDS to PSD back to DDS. And yes, replace it because you don't want your old one anymore because it's poop looking and I didn't like the color that they came with for Dragon Scale. I was kind of disappointed. So now what you need to do is you need to let Skyrim realize that you changed that texture and it needs to call up on it. So what you want to do is in the data folder, the same place where textures was, is make a new folder and basically we're just going to duplicate this path that we took it from so textures armor dragon scale and then we're going to place the file that we put into photoshop and place it in there so textures open up textures make another new folder name it armor open that up make another new folder name it dragon scale make it open this up now you can just drag your DDS file in here, your direct draw surface, and that's it. Now you've gonna have awesome looking boots in the game. It's gonna be cool. Alright, so um I'll show you guys in game now what you've done. New armor color. Looking sick. I think it looks a lot better dark. But uh that's just my opinion. And even better with... Yeah. That's how I roll. So, alright guys, enjoy. Hope you learned something today.